hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so this vlog is all about me and my mother are going to a village market where they generally sell just grains in kano yes and <laughs> she was trying to beat me up for actually taking the camera close to her because she doesn't like it she hates it anytime i raise camera so we arrived this market and generally what this market is known for is grains and all this village village stuff like that but generally grains like maize beans corn and all of those things are what is known to be sold in this market so my mom fries akara and she prefers to buy her beans in bulk because it's actually cheaper and she makes a lot of gain when she buys the things in bulk which is generally a little bit more expensive when we buy it here in the in the place where we are so going to this market just takes us talks, takes us about 40 minutes and here we've already arrived the market and we are beginning to do market survey you trust african mothers now they don't just buy from one place they have to ask from this place and this place and compare the prices before they actually buy so this is us trying to buy beans first we bargained with the man that was selling the beans and finally we arrived at a conclusion see the beans now very beautiful guys hmm. one reason i love northern nigeria is the fact is the abundance of grain and the blessing of farmlands that we have around here see how beautiful these beans are and guess what a measure of these beans is sold for around 750 naira to 950 naira finally we were able to agree with the man and he finally agreed to sell the beans for us at 750 naira. Here is me trying to ask for the price of tiger nuts because I love eating them. They are actually one of those things I love chewing anytime I'm at home. I know majorly people call this thing Hausa granuts. But I think the good name is, ti is tiger nut. And we here in the north, we call it Aya in Hausa. So finally, after beginning with the man that sells the beans, here is my mom trying to actually tell him how much of the beans he should give us and the man is trying to open the big bag to actually measure for us from it we bought 10 measures of these beans yes we bought 10 measures of it ah. after the med after the back and front back and front on the price we actually settled for 750 naira. so he opened the bag and emptied the beans into a bigger container and then after emptying the beans in a bigger container he started measuring it for us so at this point i had to give the camera to my mother in order to be able to open the sack for the man so i opened the sack and he started pouring all the beans inside that's our own measure of the beans that we've bought inside the sack yeah. So you see, we bought it here at 750 naira. But if we are buying it at our present location, that's at home in the city, we are going to be getting these beans for around 1,100 naira. See the big difference, ha! Huh? Imagine that difference in a business. Imagine that difference in 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 the gain she's going to be able to make. So generally, that's how she does. Every week, we go to this market to purchase all of it yeah so this is just us measuring the beans and trying to put them in a sack and all of those things and all the back and front that is involved in market hustle you know now so the man finally put the beans for us inside the sack and my mother <laughs> i finally was able to convince her to help me video or to help me hold the camera while we do things to help me i was actually doing this with my phone i vlog with my phone so this was my mother videoing me while I tried to put the beans, while I tried to put the beans and allow the man measure it and put it for us in a bag. Yeah. So generally that is just what is happening and this is me trying to adjust the camera for my mother <laughs> because at first she was not holding the camera well. I was able to adjust it for her and we were able to hold the camera well and we had a good view of the video. Yeah. So after buying of beans, the next thing we buy is millet because she also does pap. So, so after buying beans, we went to price how much it cost us to get millet. Mm. So we got millet 
and we were bargaining for the price and they told us the millet was around 650 naira for a major that particular major you see them measuring that beans it was the same measure they used to measure the millet and it was around 650 naira for a major so for the millet too my mother was able to buy 10 measures of it my mother bought 10 measures of the millet too and from then we started our work to also go and search for some other things this millet is majorly for making pap she makes pap along with the akara this is a very rich breakfast that is very popular in the north that's the business my mother does she fries akara and make pap by the side and people buy in the morning so that's generally my mother's business so we bought beans we bought pap we bought beans and we bought millet which is used to make her own pap so this is the millet what do you call this in the part of the world where you come from here in kano we call this gero this is called gero but i don't know what you call it in your own part of the country i don't know so this is the man trying to say ah mama your sack is leaking oh so he used his own desecration and their market strategy to be able to patch up the the, the bag for her and pour the beans so after that we moved to go and buy potatoes because she also fried potatoes along with the akara so we moved to go and buy potatoes and this is us generally navigating the market to find the actual best price to be able to buy for the potato we moved back and forth you see for this particular bunch you are seeing these bunches they are sold for 300 naira each of this bunch is sold for 300 naira so my mom was generally trying to go and get which one has a better bunch and these bigger ones are the best for her because they when you cut them into pieces they actually give you more pieces than the smaller ones so we went for these bigger ones we asked from that man then we came here this particular man said he's selling this one for 1005 my mom said it's relatively expensive so from there we moved to this other place so finally we got to this man that his own was a little bit cheaper so for each of this bunch you are seeing here too like for each of this arrangement mm, it was around 300 naira but the man was able to reduce it for us he sold four of those bunches for us for 1100 naira instead of 1200 naira so he sold that for for 1100 naira the man was so friendly they bargained back and forth with my mom and finally arrived at that amount and so therefore we're able to get four four of these packs yes which will be able to last her for at least the next five days yes four of this pack would be sold in the next five days so just take a look at that onion how much will it cost where you're coming from here in the northern part of nigeria we bought that onion for 200 naira like a pack of that onion was sold for 200 naira so after that the man was trying to package the potatoes for us he packaged it and was still playing that one my mom was saying is false that they should change it for her but the man convinced us that it's actually not spoiled from the inside so we put the potatoes in a sack like i told you we bought those rows like that four rows we bought them completely and we packed them in our sack and we headed home so all of this is my mother trying to pack the potatoes inside the sack and the man was busy cracking jokes up and down can you imagine this man told my mom that if she would actually give him my hand in marriage that he will be supplying free potatoes for her so potatoes were actually what way this man was trying to use to pay my bride price all of this me that is a fine girl like this hell nah man <laughs> oh, we all laughed chat the one was so so funny and it was really lively buying from him after that he packaged everything for us and tied it yes we tied the potatoes so so well inside the bag and we finally left there yeah and here is he trying to still arrange his market my dear hustle 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 the mom was trying to arrange his hustle he was trying to make it look beautiful and he was so happy that at least we bought that much potato from him 
So after packaging our potatoes just beside us, this man was selling this particular item. What do you call this item where you come from? In my place, it is called Guga. We use it to fetch water from the well. I know those of you that are Ajebos would actually not know this because this is used to fetch water from the well. So if you have well in your home, probably you must have come across this item. We tie a rope to it and we fetch water. The Guga is according to 8th grade or according to your strength and power. If you can carry the big one, you would buy the big one. If you can carry the smaller one, you buy the smaller one. Hmm. Growing up, well was the major source of our water. So we had several of this type. Mostly, eh, if you throw this thing inside well, you see the African in your parents. They will flog the hell out of you because you have to go and look for an item to remove that Guga from the well. So my mom added more of the potatoes and the man helped us and tried to help us to package it very well so that um, joining with it would not be difficult you can see how good the man is at packaging yeah you can see how good this man is at packaging the potato So if me kwano ham sine bugu na wa kate kibude ya kibua. If me kwano ham sine kate bugu na wa kabada. Dugu titi. Debia. So if you watch to this end of the video, thank you very much for staying along with me. If you like this content and you want to see more, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe. This way you are going to be supporting me. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And see you next time. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.